Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on OracleTexHomepage.com as well as the OracleTexHomepage.com app. And you can see the uh, pattern as we see it right now, watching a disturbance which is off toward north and west. This is going to be working its way towards the south and east and will increase our chances for rain beginning late tonight and especially for Wednesday. And then we'll see a, a little bit of a break Thursday and then Friday. We'll see another disturbance perhaps give us another better chance of rain for Friday that could linger into Saturday. Let's take you through the next couple of days here with Robin Serta Futurecast. You can see that as we move through the evening hours, any of those scattered thunderstorms that have developed across the area will end. Late tonight as that disturbance I pointed out gets closer, you can see the area of showers and thunderstorms here across the northwestern sections of the area. We'll see the showers and thunderstorms gradually spread more and more towards the south and east during the day, but it looks like the heaviest rain will occur over the northern half of the Oracle Tex, at least the way Futurecast is indicating right now. As we go through tomorrow night, scattered showers and thunderstorms will come to an end, and then Thursday, expect a mix of clouds and sunshine. Rain will be more limited for Thursday. Futurecast showing a little bit of an uptick in the rainfall chances here across the northern sections of the area late Thursday afternoon, but most of the area Thursday more than likely will stay dry and you can see those thunderstorms will fall apart as we go through Thursday evening. Now as far as rainfall potential again it will be heaviest across the northern sections of the area. Futurecast indicating probably a bit overdone but still this points out the fact that the potential is there for some very heavy rain and right now it looks like the potential for that heavy rain will be highest across the northern sections of the area. Will you see five inches of rain in Texarkana? Highly unlikely but the potential is there and the potential of seeing a good couple of inches of rain in spots definitely something we'll be watching for further to the south you can see rainfall totals at least as indicated by future gas probably will not be quite as high but there is a good chance we'll see more than four hundredths of an inch as far as Shreveport is concerned. So what you, you should take from this is that the potential is there for some heavy rain. Right now that potential is highest for the northern sections of the area. Now longer range looking at the weather pattern we will see the disturbance that I pointed out earlier a move through the area tomorrow. Here comes another disturbance which will increase the rainfall chances Friday into Saturday. We'll see a piece of this trough but notice the axis of this trough basically to the east of the Arcletex, most of the rain occurring out to the east of that axis. And with this northwesterly flow, uh, we will see rainfall chances a bit uh, lower here heading into the first half of next week. And as the ridge begins to expand more towards the east, that will also begin to warm us up just a touch as we try to get back closer to normal, which is in the middle 90s. Speaking of temperatures, looking at lows tonight across the Oracle Tex that will be in the middle 70s, 75 in Shreveport, 75 tonight for the low temperature in Texarkana. Daytime highs tomorrow should rebound back up into the upper 80s to low 90s. That includes 90 in Shreveport, 87 in Texarkana, 89 degrees for the high temperature tomorrow in Marshall. In the tropics, we do have that system that we mentioned yesterday. Uh, the National Hurricane Center now calling a potential tropical uh, cyclone 9. More than likely will become a depression, if not a tropical storm, as it moves towards the west-northwest. Here's the uh, first forecast from the National Hurricane Center regarding this system. It does look like it'll move through uh, the uh, northwestern or northeastern sections of the Caribbean, head through the Bahamas Saturday, and then move towards Florida as we look ahead to Sunday. You can see as of right now it is forecast to stay a tropical storm as it does so. But notice the cone here. This is the cone of uncertainty and uh, you can see the western edge of this. There is still some possibility that we could see this move into the eastern sections of the Gulf of Mexico. Even if it moves out here and then recurves, it's highly unlikely that we'll see much of an impact here but we will have to keep an eye on it because obviously it's still a ways out and the outlook could change as we move closer to the weekend. So this is a storm that we will be watching here during the course of the next several days, next week to 10 days. Meantime, your seven day forecast looks like this. We will see uh, again, a pretty good shot for the scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area tomorrow. Those chances will be highest over the northern half of the area. Uh, not really a whole lot of rain for most of the area Thursday. A bit of an uptick in the chance of rain Friday, which will linger into Saturday. And then we dry out for the most part heading into the first half of next week with highs mainly in the upper 80s to low 90s. Overnight lows will settle into the low to middle 70s. So all in all, it looks like our rainfall chances will continue and for pretty much the entire week ahead, daytime highs staying a bit below normal. Overnight lows will be near or slightly above normal.